Hey everybody and welcome to another iOS development tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look at how you can use just about any font that you like that is a custom font within your iOS application. So I've got a very very simple app running up in my simulator. It's on screen and you'll notice that it's just got a simple little UI label uh, that's in the middle of a view and it just says Hallo Deutschland um, within it. And that, you'll notice of course that the font that I'm using is uh, very unique and it's just a free font that I downloaded off of the web and it's of course different from the standard system font or the default font that you would see uh, within iOS itself so let's take a look at how you can implement something similar to this and really use any font that you like within your application so let's get started um, I've of course got Xcode open uh, we're not going to be writing a huge amount of code in this application so we're just going to use the standard single view application template I'm going to hit next it's going to ask me where I'd like to what I'd like to call this and I'm just going to call this um, custom font uh, we're going to set the device to iPhone and we're going to leave automatic reference counting check I'm going to hit next it'll ask me where I'd like to save the file um, hopefully sometime soon here just gonna save it on my desktop hit create and here we go um, so once Xcode's done indexing the files we can actually get started working you'll notice just it's a simple application so nothing too complicated there now our first step um, in the process of being able to use custom fonts is to actually import the font so I'm gonna right click my project or rather I'm gonna right click supporting files and add um, and use the option called add files to custom font now I will now look for the fo font that I want Oh, actually what I want is um, desktop I've got something here called uh, let's say fonts I think it's in here and I'm going to just use the font called deutsch.ttf now you'll notice that I've got two sample font files here and that's I guess one of the first things that you should know is that uh, when you're working within iOS and you want to use a custom font you either have to have a font of type TTF or a font of type OTF so in this case I'm just going to import the deutsch.ttf file now don't forget to make sure that you've got this box checked to say copy items into destination groups folder which means it will actually cop make a copy of the file and add it to your project and this is absolutely required if you want to use the custom font um, and you're running it on uh, your device and things like that so we'll hit add and that font file now gets added to our supporting files folder here our next step is to actually jump over to the info.plist file. Yours is probably going to be called your project name hyphen info.plist. So select that. And then you'll notice, of course, there's a bunch of keys here. We're going to need to add a new key. So the way we do that is we select this top level item, just hit the plus button, and now we get a list of drop down items. The ones we're looking for is called fonts provided by application. Now, in the past, this key used to be called UI app fonts or something similar to that. Uh, but now it's called you a fonts provided by application you notice that it is of type array and if I were to expand this you'll notice that there's an item 0 which is a string and there's nothing next to it so here's where we add um, our font name so we click into the space there and then we will add the actual name of the file that we just added so this needs to be exactly the same as what you've just added so in our case it's deutsch.ttf so we add that and then if, if you wanted to add more you just hit this plus button and you'll see you get another value you add that there so on and so forth so I don't have one so I'm just gonna um, get rid of that value we just need deutsch.ttf in this example and with that done our next step is to actually go over to our uh, project itself so within this files navigator select your project and then jump over to the tab here called build phases okay now here you have a couple different accordions the one we're looking for is called copy bundle resources now expand this and you want to make sure that you've got this file that we just added the custom font file listed here there are I have seen cases in fact I personally ran into this on one of the applications I was creating and it drove me nuts because I had done all the steps except uh, checking this particular area and when I did finally check it I discovered that this file had not been added so this is crucial make sure your file appears here if it doesn't just hit the plus button and add the file that you uh, that you need okay so with that done let us jump over to our uh, view controllers um, nib file and what I'm going to do is just a couple 
uh, quick little things to make sure this is easy to see. I'm going to change that view. You don't really have to do any of this. I'm going to add a label and I will just add this here to maybe the center. I'm going to set the alignment to be centered. I will change this lines property to zero and if you didn't know, if you set it to zero on a UI label it actually supports multiple lines of text and that's what I want. I'm also going to change the, go ahead and change the color to white. I could do this programmatically but this is just a simple example so we'll do that. And last but not least I also have to create a outlet to this UI label so I can affect it programmatically. Um, so the way I would do that is easiest is to open up the assistant editor select the label, right click and drag and drop a connection here. Um, it's going to be an outlet and I'll just call this my label to keep things simple. Hit connect and what that should do is of course create the add property and add synthesize statements for your application and uh, I've just noticed with uh, Xcode 4.5 uh, that it doesn't actually work um, really as well as it used to. So with this assistant editor I should have been able to come over to the view controllers header file and seen this app property statement and it should have added an app synthesize statement and it doesn't. So but that's no problem we, as long as you know that uh, you can just come down here and say add synthesize and I think we called it my label. So there we are. Command S to save and now we are well set to actually use our uh, custom font. So let's set up our custom font. Now the way we do this is we declare a font UI font object. I'm going to call this Deutsch font and then we call a class method on the UI font class and it's called font with name and you see it takes two parameters. One is an NS string value that is the name of the font and uh, the second is uh, of course the size that we want. So let's do this. We are going to come down here and I think now I'm making a error here um, knowingly and I'll show you exactly what that error is in a second because this is something that throws a lot of people off and um, it's, it's important to know sort of exactly why this is incorrect. So let me go ahead and set this. We will run the application. I'm going to come down here and of course also set my label dot font to the font we just created, which is Deutsch font. Now I'm also going to set the my label dot text property to an NS string. And I'm just going to say hello Deutschland. Okay. With that done, um, let's go ahead and run our application. And what we're going to see here is that we are not getting this custom font up here, or, or, or rather the, the, the font that we added, which is the deutsch.ttf, is not appearing within our view controller. Um, the label is going to use the standard system font. And let's look at why that is in just one second here. And I probably should also make this a little bit wider, but you see that it's the, it's the system font. And even if I were to go over here and change this so it was a little bit wider, it is not going to make any difference. I'll run it again. And you see, it's still the standard system font. So here's what's wrong. When we jump over to, let's jump over to our view controllers implementation file. The problem is this file name, and oops, I see, already see an error. One is we don't want to include the extension, but even that's not going to make a difference. And we'll see here in a second. See, it's still the system font. Um, so one, of course, the error I made was I included the file extension and I don't want to do that. Two is this value that we're passing in really needs to be the actual name of the font file. Now, there's a very, very easy way to find that out. What I'm going to do is open up my fonts folder here. And you'll notice that here's the two fonts that um, I initially pulled up. And you remember we only imported deutsch.ttf. The easiest way to get the actual name of the font is to right click it and do the get info option. This will open up the information window. And the, and the value we're looking for is actually called full name. This is the actual name of the font file. So I can just do a command C to copy it, jump back over to our code and paste that here. And you'll see Deutsch Gothic is really what we want. Now when we run the application, we get our custom font like we, we would want. So 
there it is. So now you can see that we've got our custom font running within the application. Now I also wanted to point out a quick little tip for you. Um, if you are interested, um, you can actually run some code that would allow you to list out all the fonts within your um, application. And let me see if I can uh, pause this and pull that up for you. Give me one second. All right, guys. So I paused the um, video for a quick second to pull up this URL for you. But um, here's essentially what I wanted to show you. So if you go to this website, it's called mobilefontfonts.com. They have some really nice fonts that you can purchase for use within your applications. They also have uh, free fonts that you can use, and there's some conditions to that. But the page I really wanted to show you is um, this one. It's called Use Fonts. And if you scroll down, there are some instructions here, but these are kind of old and don't really work because they don't have all the steps. And I did try actually following these when I first started adding custom fonts, and they don't quite work. But what does work is this little code snippet. Um, that allows you to list all the fonts available to your app and these are this is really handy so let's just do a command C and copy it and I'm gonna jump back to my application stop running it and jump back into the view did load method and we'll just add this code and what this is is basically a nested for loop and what it's doing is looping through all the font families that are available to the iOS app and then uh, printing out the names within that family. So nothing too crazy, but this is super useful because now when I run my application, you'll notice that in um, since it's logging it, we sort of have this output window here. And this is a nice handy check. So if you want to make sure that your font is actually available to your app. For example, say you follow all this code and you still don't get the custom font on your screen. One test is to run this code and see if it actually appears here. Uh, if it is appearing, if it isn't appearing here, for whatever reason, your font file is not getting added. Um, and so you may want to go and check to see if you did actually have it under uh, your bill phases and copy bundle resources area. Um, but in any case, if we were to search here, you would notice that here's our Deutsch Gothic and we know that this font's available and of course since we run it we can actually see uh, the font appear on screen but anyway I hope that's helpful I hope this really enha enhances all the applications that you all are trying to build and thanks for watching